Hello Year 11. This next lesson focuses on how far did the Weimar Republic recover in the period 1924 to 1929. So just before we start to look at the extent of the Weimar Republic, we do have to understand its situation in 1923. And if we look at this slide, it talks us through it or takes us through it. So the Weimar Republic had extensive economic problems in 1923. Those economic problems were hyperinflation that had ruined the currency, the invasion of the Ruhr by the French and Belgians, which had essentially stopped German industry. And obviously, the, the result of this was the German economy in 1923 was essentially ruined. Not only that, Germany had problems in terms of its international relations. Germany was what we call a pariah state. That word's a complex one, but very simply it means that every country despised and hated Germany. And finally, there were problems of political stability. That's inside of Germany. So the Weimar Republic was hated by the left. Remember the Spartacists had attempted to destroy the Republic in 1919 and the right, Cap had, had attempted the same in 1920. And after the hyperinflation, many in the middle classes had lost everything and they too, despised the Republic. So politically, in 1923, the Weimar Republic was very weak. So to, to assess the extent of German recovery after 1923, now we know just how low their country had got, we need to produce a table. And if you see my example here, it's got three columns. The first column, economic recovery. The middle column, how Germany goes about improving its international status. And the final column, how Germany or how the Weimar Republic tries to recover its political stability. So if we focus on the first column, that's the economic recovery column. Uh, you have in your handout page 8a. And if you read and examine that handout, you should be able to start to see just how much Germany did start to recover. And on the next slides, I'll model how you can create some notes based on what you can read on page 8a. So if you look at what I've produced after reading page 8a, I've kind of condensed each down into a couple of key bullet points and shorted them as well. So when I read about the doors plan, I was able to condense it down to four or five key bullet points. When I looked at the positives of German economic recovery, again, I could do the same narrowing it down to the three or four core points. And the same with the negatives, the uh, difficulties I, I could still see within the German recovery. I could put that down to three or four key bullet points. So you can either create your own or you can use my version to populate that left-hand column. Okay, now you've done your economic recovery column, you should be able to look at pages 8b and 8c and do a very similar job for the middle column about improving international relations. And then finally, you should be, do, should be able to do a similar job for political stability. Once you've got all your notes together, you'll notice at the bottom, I've put a score out of 10. That's where I want you to assess how much recovery you believe there's, there's been. So for example, the economic recovery, you could maybe score that six out of 10, because although there is recovery, the recovery is quite fragile because it's dependent on US loans and there's still a lot of underlying problems like unemployment. So at the end of this lesson, you'll have created a grid that's evaluated the information in sheets 8A, 8B, 8C, and you'll have understood just hopefully how far the Weimar government has begun to recover in the period 1924 to 29.